Sanno dov'è il cibo. Non sapete neanche che sono morti tutti. E che quelli che non sono morti subito hanno avuto il tempo di infettare altri prima di morire. Dobbiamo trovare il bunker prima del tramonto. La mia sola responsabilità è Rasmus. Pensate che il mondo sia come era prima. Vi sbagliate. All panels, so we have talked about the Europe series of Netflix. Mm -hmm. So, in your opinion, how much TV series, especially in Europe, changed thanks to Netflix? Well, I think that uh, Netflix being in Europe gives us an, an opportunity to do something that we not normally do. Mm -hmm. uh, for our example, with the rain, uh, I can just say that. Uh, Uh, we're not used to do these kind of uh, big universes where we create a post-apocalyptic universe. Um, we normally do what you call kitchen dramas mm -hmm. with love and stuff like that. Uh, so so uh, our work with Netflix gave us an opportunity to uh, create something that we couldn't have created without, without them. Mm -hmm. The Rainy is the first uh, Danish series of uh, Netflix. Uh, how does uh, this series talk about Denmark? Well, I think The interesting thing is that um, you see this safe society of Denmark, which is known for being yes, safe and we are known for being some of the mm -hmm. happiest people in the world. Uh, and then you see this, uh, in the first episode, you see all this, uh, this great country and then you just see it being torn apart and um, being destroyed. Um, so so, so our, our focus has been how do people in Scandinavia react to a disaster like this? How do they uh, learn how to survive and f uh, fight nature and fight each other uh, when they don't have society and mm -hmm. to take care of them anymore? Yesterday, Yannick uh, said, uh, we try to understand if we can be human in a world where there is uh, mm -hmm. no more humanity. Yeah. So can we be human in a, in a world where there is? Yeah, that is the big question. For my character, <laughs> uh, in the beginning, he can't because uh, it's all about surviving and protecting his group. Um, I think my character sees the, his group as his family, so he would do anything to protect them, kill everybody if they threaten them. Um, so, so, uh, but then uh, the siblings, Simone and, and uh, Rasmus, comes into the group, mm -hmm. and that changes a bit in, in my character. He, she tries to... S to make him see humanity in another way in this world as well. So, um, so I think they try to be human, but, but it's difficult when, when you just want to live. Um, it's not the first time that uh, you have acted in a in hostile environment and talk about a land of mine. Mm -hmm. So is it better to stand in a minefield or under <laughs> the killer rain? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> I wouldn't be anywhere. Um, Ah, shit, it's, it's a very, very bad place to be, both of them. Um, when I did Land of Mind, I was, uh, I was not standing in the la uh, land mine field because uh, the young boys were, so I would maybe rather be back then. Yeah. It's a great film. Uh, Thank the you. Land of Mine, yeah, it's Thanks. A really great. The Rain is uh, set in a world where uh, rain kills people, mm -hmm. and uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, The Mist by Stephen King. Mm -hmm. So, um, where another element kills, natural element kills people. Mm -hmm. So why is man so afraid of nature? I think because we can't control nature. So if we uh, continue uh, fucking our nature up, <laughs> we will fuck each other up. So I think we should really think about how we treat uh, our environment. In, uh, in the land of uh, Drain, <coughs> there are a lot of uh, young people. Mm -hmm. It seems the adults do not exist. So why? Well, I think it was uh, Yannick who wanted to, to make this <laughs> from a, a, a young POV, where you see it from, from the youngster's point of view. And, um, and then also it's, it's, it's a question of saying that uh, the adults have uh, uh, Is, is caused to all of this. So you remove them and then you give the, the, the young people a chance to build something up again. Ti sta prendendo per il culo. Non puoi fidarti di lei. Nessuno si appartiene a questo mondo. Non si tratta di sopravvivenza, ma 
di speranza.